Welcome back to the channel, people. Today we are doing our first ever dip using some Purple Heart Scrap and the Master Chief from Halo. If you didn't know who the Master Chief was, I don't know where you've been for the past two decades because, uh, Xbox much, people? Anyway, so initially I wanted to do some Lego figurines with this, uh, with my first dip, but went to the Walmart, couldn't find any minifigs that were Legos, so the next best thing the Master Chief. So this is a little bit taller than some minifigs in a Lego and had some scrap uh, purple heart and I thought that would be a good base. Took some uh, five minute epoxy and glued down the Master Chief initially. If y'all can hear that in the background that's the dog and the cat debating on uh, if they're gonna fight or not. So got the Master Chief planted down, uh, glued the bottom, and then just poured that resin. And you'll see I should have taken better care of how I poured my resin uh, because there's gonna be some speckles and some garbage in this. So we're not gonna get the greatest casting, but this is the first time we're ever doing this. So of course there's gonna be problems. So here's the Master Chief after I took him out of the pressure pot and glued two pieces of pine board to either end to uh, put the face plate down and just get a little bit more material. My biggest fear on this particular build was I wasn't gonna have enough material to make uh, anything really with it. I was really afraid that I was gonna get the material worked down so well that I was gonna start uh, actually turning down the Master Chief himself. But uh, I wanted it to do like a cool egg. If you watch Ben Works on YouTube, he does a lot of egg projects, so that's kind of what inspired me to do this. And that guy has been doing this way longer than I have, so my wannabe egg uh, did not turn out so well. So the entire point of this project was just to do a proof of concept. Anytime you do something for the first time, there's going to be problems, obviously. So my first problem here was I didn't turn on the camera initially when I started this. So uh, I just wanted to get it into like kind of like a... A snow globe type of shape I realized that like given the material and the size of the casting that doing a snow globe type of uh, build was probably better than trying to do an exact egg so trying to just go for that nice oval type shape uh, and as you can see from all the shavings that we're getting off you know projects going pretty good however I will admit I am scared to death of resin like after those first couple of builds like a couple of videos back where the resin just completely fell apart on me. I'm scared to death to work with resin, uh, only because I'm just afraid so much that I'm just gonna get that chatter, even though I feel like I've mastered, uh, not mastered, but I figured out what I was doing wrong with the resin, but still got that death grip on the chisels as I'm like working down the material. But you can see we're getting some good shavings off, a lot of shavings there toward the uh, headstock, and I'm just, you know, getting that good shape in. So far, no chipping and couldn't be happier with it. So here at the base, I had a little bit of problem with some chipping, as you can see right there, which was kind of aggravating. So once I got it pretty much to the shape that I wanted, I was like, okay, let's not get greedy. I could have taken off way more material, and granted, I should have done that. But for my first dip and first casting with a minifig, I just wanted to get uh, a project underneath my belt before I started getting too ambitious with it. So here I got the basic shape that I want. Now I'm just taking my square carbide tool uh, and cleaning up the uh, tailstock end of it. That is so cool the way it does that, by the way. So here we are just getting that nice oval type shape with it. Uh, and just thanking my lucky stars that I didn't get any massive ch type of chipping with it. But admittedly, admittingly, that uh, that pine board on top of it really doesn't look that good at the end of it. So here we are. I, I started from 320 and then worked all the way up to the micro mesh uh, as far as polishing. The micro mesh pads do most of the work. Uh, so you get kind of a clear casting with this but as you'll see here toward the end we had some you know a little bit of problems so since this was majority just uh, resin I came back with this flitz polish that I haven't used in quite a while thinking that it was gonna shine it up and for the most part it really didn't I don't know if I just didn't polish it hard enough or if I just wasn't using the material the way it was you know designed to do but nevertheless I went ahead and used that uh, and then here I am trying to create, uh, trying to remove the initial 
the main piece from the head from the face plate um, and then I realized once I got in there with the uh, parting tool that uh, I started to hit the screws so just said screw it went back with some wood wax and wood wax polish and then uh, shined up the Master Chief and he looks pretty good actually like in this uh, you know section here you can kind of see him pretty good and it actually looks real good from this angle and from this uh, type of vantage point it looks like you know the project looks really good but you'll see here in a bit uh, all those small little speckles of just stuff that was either in the pressure pot or when I mixed the resin it was already in there so I just need to be more careful and then for some reason I felt the need to come back and hit it on the buffer which this was unnecessary I should have just did a mortise and polished it up on the lathe but went ahead and did this anyway and I was like meh might as well do it I guess so uh, did that for a few seconds and then quickly abandoned it. So here's the Master Chief. Really don't like that top of that pine board on there, but here it is. Doesn't look too pretty, but we're going to get better at this. We're going to do better casting. So hope you liked it. Uh, see you in the next project. Okay, so project is done. Did not take that long on this particular build. Uh, for the first casting, it was something that actually went really well. So. Here we are, I can get better, but here is, you can see all the hairs and fibers, which unfortunately is there, but here you go. The Master Chief in resin. Not the best casting, but for the first casting I've ever done, it doesn't look too incredibly horrible. You could still see, I don't know what to deal with, uh, you get like this mirage effect inside the resin, I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if that's resin that hasn't been set up, but I mean, you pretty much know. And then I got speckles and stuff in it that I need to clean the pressure pot out. There's one bad scratch that you can see there, but overall, it turned out pretty well. So there you go. There's the Master Chief in all his glory dipped in resin. So hope you got something out of the project. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next project or dip or whatever the hell that we're doing on this channel. All right, it's hot as fuck in here. Gotta go. Bye.